Hello everybody and welcome back to how to build an F-14 Tomcat. So last weekend we left off with finishing the top molds of that fuselage and uh, I told you guys I was going to work all week and get that thing ready to mold before the wife came home from visiting her family. Well she came home early so that didn't happen. but. Uh, no worries, I did get some progress made. As you can see, you're looking at a horizontal stab mold with a bunch of bolts sticking through it. And if you're wondering why there's bolts sticking through it, it's because I already joined the halves, made up all the internal structure and everything. Um, templates, I just kind of used oh, some balsa wood parts. That's the one of them there, and then another one. And then there's really just four pieces of structure inside of that whole, that entire horizontal stab, so there's not a whole lot. Um, to join it, I just used a mixture of epoxy cotton flock and some milled fibers. Uh, I put a lot of milled, milled fibers in there to try and put a lot of, put some more strength into it. And then I used probably an equal amount of milled fibers and, uh, and cotton flock in it. So it's, some, it's a pretty strong mixture of, of stuff. So now I'm ready to basically pull a mold apart. You know what is this? Did Boo come out here with you? No. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Who are you talking to? The video. Everybody say hi to the wife. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, everything I use to hold is just quarter inch bolts, some quarter inch large area washers, and some quarter inch wing nuts. All of which are fairly cheap and readily available. Apparently the wife did not want to come and say hi to everyone on camera. So. So I didn't get quite as much done as I was hoping. Like I said, the, uh, the fuselage, I didn't get, well, I didn't get the portions of the bottom of it that I was hoping the mold done. I could have done that today, but I'm just kind of, kind of taking a lazy day after last weekend. So next weekend is going to be a full blown uh, mad dash to get that. The majority of the bottom of that fuselage molded. And here in a moment I'll show you guys what I've done with the with the bottom.
truth. Hopefully everything works. Works as advertised as they say. <laughs> You can see the pivot shaft runs right through where this little fake inspection panel would be and nice and hard you can't push in on it. I mean that's all I've got on both sides and it's not caving in at all. All of this is I mean it's <laughs> extremely strong. So let's see how the weight can get out on that part. <laughs> Here we are at 693 grams, so we're looking at 24 ounces or a pound and a half. So according to that, it sounds like I could probably do some a uh, little bit lighter layups on this thing. And let's see, just the titanium parts are three tenths of a pound, so. 1.2 pounds of that is all composite layups. So we got three pounds for a pair of horizontal stabs. That's uh, that's really heavy. I was hoping for half of that for both of them. But anyway, there's just a horizontal stab. A little heavy. That's why it's a prototype part. Um, I'm perfectly happy with it being a little heavier and a <laughs> and way stronger than I possibly needed it to be. So, uh, there's a horizontal stat. <laughs> now I just gotta do one more. And, back over here to the fuselage. Since I told you guys and gals that I did do some work. Now, uh, y'all get a quick little sneak peek. And you see there's a whole lot of wood, a whole lot of parking planes on that thing. Yeah, so that, that basically, 
took half basically the majority of yesterday afternoon to do so um as you can see for a section of the fuselage it's all gonna get molded separately because of these these bumps and then the insets for all the blisters and the cooling ducts all this stuff all because of that that whole section has got to be done or else it would just lock into place and you never get the thing out so this is ready for to be waxed and PVA'd I'm gonna wax it today coming down here along the fuselage you can see this whole section here is gonna get molded separately the reason being is there's a slight negative draft or an end cut right in this area which if I tried to mold this whole section as one from side to side this little bit of area it's like a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch would lock that whole pump, that plug into it so that's because of that that's all I gotta get done see I've also got the parting plane here running down the uh, the inlet ramp the reason why I put it on the inside of it instead of right down the center is that way when I do the layup on the inside here for the actual interior portion of the inlet ramps all I have to do is just put a bead of uh, epoxy cabasil or whatever cotton flock down in there and just lay a flat layup and I'm not trying to get half curves in there I'll have this whole curve on the fuselage part and then there, you see there's no uh, keyways here whatsoever the reason why no keyways if you put them here you're going to end up locking this inner portion of the mold into it you'll never get it out so what I did here is I extended it past a little bit so that'll act like a keyway there's a keyway here and you can see the three button keyways which one's sort of covered up it's got the three button keyways so with that part this center mold will do is you'll slide it into the back connect it and then you'll fold it down to where it connects with these here and this will be the last section that gets molded I'll do this exterior portion I'll transfer this portion to here and then all of the center section of the fuselage which also travels down the left side here all of that will get molded and then the, these will get done with their plate just here to kind of make up the wing glove area where the wing slides in again we got a keyway here you can see here I've got little they're just more furniture bumpers but they're oh, I guess they're kind of like the a pyramid shape but they got the top cut off of them and I just cut them in half and I'm putting them down along the edges and this is just an area to get a pry bar or whatever in there to help separate the molds and I've got four along back here on this side I've got two here and I've got two more up there again more registration keys coming along the back I just came down back here previous video I told you guys that I forgot to put them in so I just took a really sharp half inch drill bit and went down through there and just put a couple again all this will be done as one mold all the way from that part and plane right there all the way back to here so that's all gonna be one section of a mold and then again here we do we've got this whole side here it's just gonna be a mirror uh, a mirror layup mirror image of the other side there and then since we don't have this cut off this little section here to do separately I've got two keyways here that way the mold here will come out just it'll kind of come from here down a flange and then when I do this other one we're gonna have a flange here and then there will be another flange right about there for that inner portion of it and then that way this part of the mold connects with this portion of the mold through these two keyways here and it just helps kind of block it all together so fuselage all that's going to get well the, the three areas that I've got parted planned off right now I'm gonna wax them they will get done next Friday or Saturday it depends on if I can get all my work for work done before Friday if I get done before Friday I'm gonna take Friday off I'm gonna mold this thing if not Saturday then come Saturday or come Sunday or Saturday whichever one the rest of this thing is gonna get waxed and ready to be molded so by the second week of April fuselage done molded completely molded done I, it's happening <laughs> gonna happen I swear um that close but that far or as they say in the home building world 90% done 90% to go so fuselage 
90% done, 90% to go. Horizontal stab, woohoo! First uh, flying airfoil, air surface molded. So since I've got this done, it's uh, time to make up another one. <laughs> so I'll probably do the second layup, or the mold the other half, or the other one of these when I do the rest of that. So next weekend, I'll probably have a second one of these or the weekend after, but I'll have a second one by the time this fuselage is done molding. So until then, y'all have a great week. I'm gonna get the waxing and buffing and we will see y'all in the shop.